Hey, I'm Shar, and welcome to Reading Spices. Come on, darling. I've had some good readings for you lately. Let's get some more. Before we do, let's pick a Psychic Tarot Oracle card for, for you from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. These are by John Holland. Pisces. Let's give him a cut. What a spirit pick for you. Disconnect. Discontent. I'm sorry. Discontent and boredom. <laughs> no. <laughs> Discontent and boredom. No. No, Pisces. No. That can't be for Pisces. It's number four. Let's see if we can find that. Discontent and boredom. I will not listen to that. Page 999. 99. Are you bored, Pisces? Well, you're going to have to do something about that, darling. It is in the Book of Emotions. The Book of Emotions. 9799. Disconnect and discontent. Why do I keep saying disconnect? Discontent and boredom. This card signifies a time when you may experience stagnation, discontent, and boredom. Come on, now the summer's finishing up here. Let's get her on, get her done, get out there. It's been hotter than friggin' hell here. But, but get out there. Is the summer still going? Feelings of restlessness and impatience uh, surround you. A relationship, a project, or a situation isn't moving forward fast enough and could be draining you emotionally and energetically. Okay, so uh, I can understand that, you know, if, if you're interested in someone and that's just not moving or, or your career that you're still waiting for that raise. or you know, I can understand, you know. It's, you're longing for change. And although one door may be closing, don't focus all of your energy on it, as opportunity will soon knock. Yay! A window or another door could quickly open, and if your attention and awareness isn't focused, you could easily miss it. So, you know what it sounds like to me is that if you are feeling this discontent, and boredom. And this could be just when, just when, the universe uh, slips you something, and, and you don't notice it. And because you don't notice it, the Lord give us, and the Lord take us away. So, be aware, be focused. Okay, come on now. Watch for synchroni synchronistic events that bring books speakers, workshops, and new people into your life. And you can find a lot of that stuff on YouTube. And you can find it go into your daily news on, on the internet and look for workshops. Keep yourself focused, Pisces. Any of these could possibly uh, hold a message for you. Have faith in divine timing and know that everything changes for a reason. This card acts as a reminder that it's a perfect time to reevaluate and search within your heart and your soul for fresh insights. Yes, and I've been reading, Pisces. I've been reading that you have been absolutely magical lately. And, and don't lose that magic. Don't say, well, you know what? I've been trying and trying and trying, and you know what? And, and then I feel really good, and, and, and nothing happens. And a lot of people put a time limit, put a time limit on the divine. Put a time limit on, on your dreams coming true. Don't do that. Don't do that, because you'll always be disappointed. If you're going to always like put a time limit on it, it's not going to come, and you're going to be disappointed, and, and bam. Bing, bang, boom, there it goes. Right? 
Do you know what the hell I'm talking about? I hope you do. Uh, I'm speaking spirit here. But before we do your reading, I want to pick an Angels and Gemstone Guardian card for you. These are by Margaret Ann Lembo. Margaret Ann Lembo. Let's pick a, a crystal for you. Or a gemstone. Let's pick a gemstone for you. So don't be dis discontent. Don't be bored. A little bit of boredom's okay. Keep yourself focused, Pisces. Because you know it's coming. You can feel it. You know you're the high priest. And the high priestess is come on. You have the angel of freaking telepathy. And it is the tabular quartz. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh, this is so beautiful. Tabular quartz. The angel of telepathy. You freaking know. You freaking know. Come on now. Spirit's talking. When I speak, people listen and understand what I am expressing. I communicate from my heart to the hearts of others. I easily visualize and send mental pictures of my ideas, visions, opinions, and other matters of importance as I speak. As I speak, I visualize my dreams. As I speak, I visualize I am the high priestess. As I speak, I visualize that I am the high priest. As I speak, I visualize that I am the I am. I communicate from my heart to the hearts of others. When I speak, people listen and understand what I am expressing. And just one moment before, I was saying, I hope you know what the hell I'm talking about. But I think you do. Because when I speak, I know you understand. No matter how jumbled the words are, I know you hear me. Just like I hear you. The angel of telepathy. Don't get bored. Don't don't shift your focus. Pisces, honest to God, it's around the corner. Spirit, we're going to the witch. Let's go, Pisces. We're going to the witch. We're going to do a quick reading for you. I'm a little late tonight, but that's okay. You can watch me in the morning if it's too late. Or if you're getting ready for bed. Yes, darling, crawl in there. Turn on it. Turn on your Pisces reading. By reading Spice Shark. And let me talk you to sleep. <clears throat> I hope you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> let's get her on. Let's get her done. Pisces, let's go. Let's go, angel of telepathy. Come on. Seven of Swords and the Ten of Wands. And the Three of Hearts. And the king of hearts, there's Pisces. All right, God love you, darling. What were we just saying? The angel of telepathy, I am. When I speak, I am. I am the high priestess. When I speak, I am the high priest. When I speak, I visualize. I see it. I feel it. I walk it. I talk it. I know it. Holy shit, I'm bored. Holy shit, I'm losing faith. I feel deceived. I've been listening to this tarot reader saying my 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 dreams are coming true. And, and all I've gotten was worry and more freaking panic. I've been deceived. It's either by freaking listening to a tarot reader or it's just by I'm losing faith. I just don't believe it no more. I'm getting bored with it. Everybody's saying the same thing. I'm bored with it. 
or it could be sliding back into the past. Thinking about someone who deceived you in the past, in the past. someone who hurt you, and caused you nothing but pain, suffering, anxiety. Feeling the anxieties rising up again. Well, it's time to kick the crap out of that. Because right around the freaking corner is celebration and Pisces coming out here. The king of friggin' emotions himself, Pisces. The king, the queen of emotion. The angel of telepathy, the angel of I am. Just waiting to celebrate. If you're feeling that you're sliding back a little bit, catch it. Catch it. Catch it by the tail. Smile. Gotcha. Stand back as a third person. Stand out of yourself. Step back. Look at it. Without judgment. Without emotion. Without saying, oh, what they did to me. Without, well, I don't believe it anymore. Everybody's saying the same thing. Nothing's happening. That shit has got to go. You're doing a good work with yourself. Continue. Don't say, well, when? Who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? I've been saying when for four freaking years on my YouTube channel. When am I going to hit 50,000? When? when? When am I going to do this? When is it going to get that? When? When? And it was like, well, it doesn't matter when. I got at least 5,000 out there that want to listen to me. I, I'm, I'm overjoyed. I'm overjoyed. Look at it that way. Step back. Wait a minute. All these feelings are coming in from the past. Well, how I used to feel before I felt really good. Just sliding back in. Mm, slipping and sliding back in like a snake. Time to shed that snake, darling. You got your three cups coming in. This is grand, grand celebration. And the king of cups coming out here. King Neptune himself jumping out of that water. Jumping out of that water. Let's go. Hold on to your dreams, queen of pentacles. Hold on to your freaking dreams. Your freaking sewage starts friggin' sliding back into your brain, you got to pump it out of there. And that's exactly what it is, is sewage. You're, you're backing up with sewage. It's time to, to get the pump and, and get that shit out of your head. Hold on to your dreams. Tell yourself the truth. Tell yourself the truth. I am a sexy walker. Tell yourself the truth, truth, victory, triumph. Come on, Pisces. I am a smooth talker, and I am a sexy walker, and I am Pisces. I am emotion. I am love. I am an empath. I am the high priest. I am the high priestess. Come on, say it. Wake up. Don't be half asleep on me here. Wake up. Time to walk away from the bullshit. That's constantly, I'm feeling really good. I feel so damn close. Sure, I can almost touch it. Oh, I remember that time. Walk away from that crap. And walk away from anybody that brings that crap into your life. Negative Nancys, negative Normans. Energy vampires, people that just suck the crap out of you. And, and leave you wasted and tired and beat and worn. Pisces. Pisces, you are right now, okay? You're at a very, very crucial point. And this usually happens when you are almost there. You're almost there. Does the world want to let you go? Spirit calls 
You're starting to know who you are. You're beginning to put heaven and earth together and bring them into one. Your crown chakra is receiving information and light and your body is healing and you're doing good. Does the world want to let you go? Oh, God Almighty, no. The world don't want you to know what you are. <laughs> The world doesn't want you to know your power, your strength, your abilities, your tools, your magi. The world wants to blind you and keep you busy with frigging electronics and playing games. And, and, and the world just wants to keep you under so you don't see. Come on. Listen. Listen to spirit. There's great possibility. With this great heartache and, and depression and loneliness and feeling bad. And a door opening. You are right on that very thin line. Where it's everything. Or nothing. Where it's win. Or lose. You're crushing it. You're on your way. Don't let bullshit and sewer and seepage into your mind. Let it go. Step back. Look at it. Don't judge it. Just say, oh, there it is again. Yep, come to visit. Don't feel any emotion. Let it go. Once you feel emotion, thought, emotion, you're gone. Next thing you know, you're looking around the room and say, oh, geez, it's been two hours. Where was I? Lost in thought, lost in the place that does not exist, only in your head. Step back, look at it, let it go. Watch them come and go, the thoughts. Watch them come and go, like meditation. Watch them come, watch them go. Don't heed any words that the mind speaks to you. It is a liar. The world does not want you to know who you are. Come on. You do have communication coming in. There is an offer. Come on. I don't know what the offer is, but it is freaking strong. It is strong. And it is your Ten of Cups. And it's something that you have a great passion for. This is your dream. Pisces. It's around the corner. The corner could be three months long. The corner could be six months long. Depending on how you deal with your thoughts and your emotions. You're at a very, very crucial, crucial time. You've been doing the good work. And I'm proud of you. But you can go there or there. You can go into misery and back into the past and into pain and suffering with the mind. Or you can tell the world to go to hell. I'm on my way. I know who I am. I know my abilities, I know my strengths, I know what I can do. Watch really good videos. Watch videos about what you can do with the subconscious. Watch videos on whatever you want. It's already at your hand. Don't do it with intent. I want money. Don't do it that way. Do it with thanks. For the things that you have now. And it will grow. There will be great success. And you will stand strong in it. It's coming, Pisces. Trust me. It's coming. Stay on course. It's a very thin path. The path is wide. 
but it feels very, very thin because we have a hard time walking it. Okay, Pisces, discontent and boredom, do something. This is the world. Oh, you should be like, I don't know, maybe you should just sit here and watch TV all day or, you know, uh, this is the world. And this is what the world wants you to do. The angel of telepathy. This is spirit. This is what you can do. And so much more. Taurus is in the room, Aquarius. Pisces, huge. Sagittarius. This is all about you, darling. Not about somebody else or what they did to you. This is all about you. Understand. Understand. This is all about you. I want to thank you for joining me tonight. And on your way out, hit that thumbs up. YouTube looks at like that. I'd appreciate it. Don't forget to share if you can. If you got a friend that needs some positive words. On your way out, reach back. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring that bell. So you know the next time the Spirit and I are here to speak with you. Namaste, Pisces.